my name is Sarah and I make videos to show that great style for your home is possible with thrift shopping. Today I'm going to talk about my digital mood board for my room makeover challenge and how you can create one too, even without any Photoshop skills. Also, afterwards, I'll be chatting about my latest Facebook Marketplace score. So if you like what you see, subscribe down below. Now let's talk about this mood board I put together for my Goodbye Dining Room Hello Music Lounge makeover that ends on February 11th. If you are new to my channel, please check out my last couple videos that should explain everything about this challenge, and I've linked them down below for you. I just want to point out and get this over with that yes, I have an apple on my shirt and I like it. I did have my glasses on when I started to record, but I realized I look like a junior high student on a field trip today. This is a thrift challenge, and it is hard to predict what I will find out there shopping, but I still thought it was a good idea to create a mood board or a vision board for this challenge. It is helpful for me because it gives me a rough idea of what to look for when shopping, and it also helps me visualize the space ahead of time. I'm also able to try a lot of different things quickly. Sometimes I have my heart set on a particular item, but then when I put it in my mood board, I can see that it just doesn't work, and that's all right. Also, the most important thing is that this keeps me focused when I'm shopping and it prevents me from bringing home stuff that just won't work with the rest of the items. Now, here are the steps I took to create a mood board. First thing I did was go straight to Pinterest and Instagram for interior inspiration. Then I pinned my little heart out. By the way, feel free to follow my Pinterest page so you can see all the inspiration for my music lounge challenge. After I was all pinned out, I think I had a good idea of what I wanted this lounge to look like. At least I thought, or still think. I'm picturing a big Rattan love seat, a colorful area rug, and uh, maybe a square coffee table. I searched Etsy and Cherish.com and all, all sorts of websites to find examples of these items, and then I bookmarked them. Then I repeated this step to find items, examples of items that I already owned and plan, plan to use in my makeover. I knew I'd be keeping my mid-century wall unit, so I just thought it was easier to go to cherish.com and find a picture of it to use for my mood board instead of taking a photo of the one I already own. And so next, then I <laughs> took a screenshot or I downloaded the a photo from the products that I had bookmarked. Please note, I think it's really important to give credit to the dealers and the websites of the pictures that I borrowed because I am sharing with this, this with the world. So feel free to check out all those items that I've listed on my mood board. I've linked them down below in my description. After I gathered or downloaded all my photos, I then dragged and dropped them into a Photoshop. By the way, Photoshop is just the tool that I use and I feel most comfortable using. I'll talk about some other easier options in a few minutes. Once I had everything in Photoshop, I then was able to rescale things and resize things to move them around. I even removed the background on some of the items. This is the fun part. I spent most of this step just like rearranging things and moving them around. I even brought in some new items to see how they worked. So that being said, I ended up switching out my rattan love seat and square coffee table for some plush swivel armchairs, I'm just dreaming by the way, and a wicker side table. I think after seeing the chairs and the side table, I liked it a lot better than the other combination, which is cool because I wouldn't have known if I didn't try it. Feel free to give this a try sometime if you haven't already. You could use whatever you want. So if you want to use Pinterest, use Pinterest. Or if you want to use a note-taking app like Evernote and drag and drop things into Evernote, then do that, my friend. Also, there are apps out there that are designed specifically for creating mood boards, like Morfolio Board, I think. That being said, just do what works best for you. So if your needs are not digital, then just grab a magazine and some scissors and get to cutting. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert when it comes to mood boards. I just do what works best for me. Now I have my mood board, but here's the catch. As you all know by now, I hope this is a thrift challenge and time is precious. We're running out of time, capiche? I'm halfway through this challenge and I'm probably going to have to improvise because chances are I'm not going to find the, those amazing navy velvet swivel chairs. Like, I'm just probably not going to. 
I need to be realistic. So I'm going to have to improvise, but that's all right. Feel free if you're doing this to stick with it and hold out for that perfect item. Now that you know I'm looking for a colorful area rug, let's talk about my latest Facebook Marketplace score. This 8x10 rug that I found was too big and beautiful to pass up. Okay, but it was $160, which hurt me a lot. But the guy at first wanted $250 and I, because I wasn't really serious and I thought it would be rejected, I offered $160 and he accepted it. I dragged Pete along with me to go look at this rug and let's just say he wasn't too happy about missing the first half of the football game this weekend. No, we're going. Only being blackmailed in the going. <laughs> well, I can't say that that's not true, but we're going. All right. <laughs> I honestly can't picture this music lounge without a big colorful area rug. And I, I, I just wasn't sure if I was gonna come across another one. So it was a chance I had to take. Now I just have to sell some some of the old furniture so I can increase my budget. Now let me hear what your thoughts are on mood boards, vision boards, whatever you wanna call them. I think they're really helpful if you have an unlimited budget, but for a thrift challenge, maybe not. Either way, I think if you're a visual person like myself, they're really fun to try. All right, that's it. Again, my name is Sarah. I make videos every Friday, so check back in next week. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'll already, you should, because I would love to be friends, wouldn't you? All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.